so glad to be on with you today and I'm just wanting to ask you are you lonely the reason I'm asking if you're lonely are is because I know at certain times in my life I felt lonely and it's kind of been traced back to me not feeling like I could be myself around others so when I've looked at that a little closer I've realized that when I'm around other people and maybe I'm acting a certain way because I might think that that would make them like me more or that would make me fit in, I've realized that when I don't show up as myself, that creates loneliness in me because I'm not making true connections with other people. And what I want to encourage you today is that the Bible is such a great resource for understanding ourselves and understanding who God says we are and bringing encouragement to our life because this is how we know God, is to, to read His Word. In John 15, 5, it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. God is a support to us. He is the one who holds this whole universe together, and we get to simply be the hands and feet of the gospel. We get to know Him once we, once we connect to His vine. And He loves you so much. He loves me so much. And once I realize, like, yeah, being other people, like acting like a certain way or not being myself around other people, of course it's going to create loneliness. When am I going to be enough um, where I can be satisfied with like who I am and not be worried about what others think of me? Well, God says we already are enough. He made us exactly who we're supposed to be and that we don't have to be afraid to be ourselves. So He loves you so much. He, he is our vine. The second thing I'd like to tell you is in Isaiah 43, it says, you are precious in my eyes. That's what God says to us. We are precious to him. And once we embrace his love and we accept that like, yeah, he made me who I am and I am precious in his eyes, I can rest in him. I can rest in knowing that he's going to bring the right support around me. He'll bring the right support around you. Uh, just trust him and trust that Yes, he loves you no matter what. No matter no matter how many times we mess up, no matter how many times we've fallen short of what we wanted, it doesn't change his view on who we are. Like he's cheering you on. Like he's saying, "That's my girl. That's my boy." Like, "Yep, there was a bump, but I was right, I'm right here to catch you. I'm right there to take care of you." And so, I just love that about God is that no matter if I'm having a good day or a bad day, this doesn't change his view about who I am. When Christ shed his blood for us, like that blood covered all of our sins. So I don't have to walk in a state of, well, I'm just a filthy, rotten sinner. And, you know, of course, I'm glad I'm saved by grace, but I'm, I'm just that sinner. It's just, you know, God's got to gotta take care of me and walk through it. Well, in Galatians 12, 2, it says, the Son of God loved you. And he gave himself for you and he's already paid the price that it's going to take so you are enough we can be fully confident because he has, he's already paid that price for us he says i've gone before you i've already taken care of it and you're free you don't have to be in this place of oppression or a place of um emotional just I guess despair maybe or not even despair it's it's this posture of either like being totally free in Christ or in a posture of well I'm just a sinner you're not just a sinner you've already been bought with the blood of Christ you're free he's taking care of it and he wants to see you thrive he wants to see you trust him he wants you to see he wants to see you like step out and take a risk for him and do something that might look a little impossible or maybe even hard so I encourage you today to try to find like, who are you? Like, what is your authentic self going to look like? There's people, maybe think about when you were younger. There might be people that you needed that were older than you that needed to set a good example, that needed to speak up, needed to knock some sense into you and say, hey, no, maybe challenge you in some ways. Be that person now for not only yourself, but for the people around you. And I really think that God would be pleased with that and that he would um, bless you for walking in good integrity and not just trying to please others so that you would feel like you're enough. Once I um, noticed that about myself in situations, 
I pray, I ask God, please, Lord, help me to be free from fear, fear of man, and to know that you love me no matter what. And when we find that freedom, there is so much peace and happiness that comes in our life. And there's nothing that we can't face. Even the really hard things, we can face it because the Lord has got your back. He's got mine for sure. <laughs> so I encourage you today to lean hard in on the Lord. He's right there. He's with you. He will carry you. And you are enough. You are totally enough. His blood, the Christ blood has covered your sin. It has covered um, the wrongs or the hurts. And he's right there and he wants to carry you through anything that you're going through. So trust him, call out to him, and he's right there for you. All right, till next time.